Good day, ladies and gents. Today's video is going to be about how I participated in the event and made 100 million rubles, as well as is how I invested that money. Uh, but first of all, how do you make money during events? You play on empty servers. So, for example, if it's 8 p.m. Central Time, right, everybody in the US is playing the game, uh, you should connect to European servers because it's really late in EU, everybody's asleep, and the servers are more empty. However, some people might have a problem of being disconnected due to high ping, and this is when GearUp comes in as a savior. GearUp is basically an app that helps you reduce your ping and it gives you a stronger connection to the server. You know that feeling when you connect to the server, you look in the top right corner and you see like 5-10% packet loss and extremely high ping? Yeah? I don't like it either. So, how does the app work? It works really simple. You open the app, uh, you click on the button and you wait for the app to connect to the servers. And as you can see right now, my connection to NA West is 197. And after I connected to GearUp, it drops. It is lower. It is 164. So it literally decreased by 30. I am getting a 30 ping advantage. I've been talking about GearUp on my stream and I received some positive feedback from the people that already used it. And uh, probably some of the most famous questions to answer. Uh, yes, it's easy to use. No, you will not get banned for using it because it literally works like a VPN, except servers getting selected automatically. Uh, thirdly, I've used it for over nine months, getting close to one year already, and I absolutely had no issues whatsoever. And a really important factor for people is that you can try it out for free. Where you download it, you log in, and you can try it for free without entering any credit card details, no nothing. Download, try it out for free. If you like it, you can purchase it uh, and, and, and use it. So yeah. Give it a go, let me know how low of a ping you can get in Tarkov Launcher in the comments down below and uh, enjoy the video. Right. Oh, you know, only if those weren't empty anymore. Oh, mama! Oh la la, mama mia! Pre-event, Red Keycard was being sold for roughly 18 million and right now it's being sold for 20 for 25. So it's not as much as it used to be, but still a good thing. And after finding Red, I decided to have a little bit of PvP. Alright, I'm a stab chat. I thought he would check this room, but he didn't. He half checked it. So I kinda messed stab chat, my bad. My bad chat. Yes, bear. Almost fucked up. Well, I, I did fuck up either way, I would say. That was an insanely bad fucking play, bro. Door is open yet no but what? That's weird. That's fucking weird, bro. Oh hello. Hello there. This time I found yellow, which drastically fell in price. I think it roughly fell from 15, 16 million to 3 to 5. So yeah, this event is driving the prices down, but hopefully, since most of my keycards are found in raid, I will be able to sell them after the event ends and the prices go back up. Yeah, like you wanna go home or something? Uh, looks like he's not gonna kill me, chat. 
Looks like it ain't happening. <clears throat> GG's. I respect the effort though, bro. He didn't run away. He actually tried to avenge his teammate. Fucking respect for that dude. Complex 4, uh, I don't like them. Oh, but I can sell them on the flea, right? Right, yeah. Check the bookshelf for keycard. Too late, it's in my ass. <sighs> Bro, wasting my marker, I'm sorry, man. Sacrifices had to be made, dude. GG's. This raid was a bit different from the rest of them, since I managed to find goons and I found one of the most exclusive and rarest and priceless items in the game. So yeah, watch this raid to see what that item is. Oh fuck, it's goons! Alright, and before fucking bird eye breaks me, dude. Oh, I killed him. I netted him. Well. What about bird eye, though? Dude, I, I don't even hear him. It's a scaf. Bro, where's Bird Eye? Oh! Bro! Little cunt, dude. Little fucking cunt. Yeah, no shit, bro. Give me a key card, dude. Plus, key card, buddy. Plus, oh, what the fuck is this? This ain't no key card, bro. Scav is still there. What else, Fox? Ooh, hello. Single fire. Imagine if that was not a seven second nade. I still would have saved myself. Like, the nade was right there, which was just like hit right here or something. No biggie. It's so funny that freaking big pipe died to my vlog. Oh shit, holy shit man, what the fuck? God damn bro. Nothing. 
Ah, oh, that's bad nice though. Key card. Oh my! Hoo -hoo, dude. Dude, dude, dude. Not much has happened this raid, but since I managed to get green, it's a good raid. Easy 25 million. Let's go. Oh, hello there. Hello, little buddy. Nighttime is OP, bro. Nighttime is OP. Dude, I swear, bro. Every single keycard I found it, during nighttime, dude. I swear, everyone, dude. Like, alright, maybe like, what? Four out of five. Four out of five were nighttime. I don't have to go and kill Rishala chat, do I? I can just kill one of the boys and extract. Correct? Now kill Rishala, easy green. Uh, Rishala doesn't spawn key cards. Rishala is a Papagam. Michelle could have a Bitcoin, uh, yeah, or he could give me head ice as well. Ah, whatever, let's kill him, chat. Stay at. Oh, shit, there's a player coming in. Okay, chat, change of plans. Piece of shit. <laughs> dude, he dies and he hears a piece of shit. Great timing, dude. Let's go. Jinji just got violet and yellow in the same room on sheets, crazy loot buff. Yeah, it's been like this for the past few days. Marked rooms are top tier. Alright, shall let's give him... Let's give him the bofa. Oh, no, 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 okay, okay, bro, I made it a joke. No bofa for you, dude. Dude, I pulled the net out instantly pushed me. Rishala says he doesn't feel too good. Oh god, come on, dude. Bro. So that's how you want to deal with it. I see, I see, Goose. I see, bro. You want me to fight Rishala with my bare fist? Since Tired Goose started trolling me and using too much of a bitbot, I decided to not take any risk and uh, I think I healed myself and extracted without killing uh, Rishala boys. What in the God's mercy is that? No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, nearly had a heart attack, dude. It went into the backpack and I didn't search it. Bayonet. Bayonet knife. A fucking bayonet knife, bruv. Shit is fucking lit, mate. Okay, it is empty. So this is what I've got after one day of uh, doing this event since BSG added keycards to the marked room. It was a lot of fun and I think I roughly made 100 million-ish. 
Um, on top of what you see on the screen, I also sold an additional red key card for 30 million because I really needed the money. Um, and yeah, I hope uh, I hope this stays after the wipe. I think it's really fair if you can find marked, um, if you can find different color key cards in the marked rooms. Definitely, the spawn chance shouldn't be as high as it is right now. And I think BG already nerfed it, so if you do go loot marked rooms right now, you will not find key cards as often as you used to. But I believe this is a good change. The fact that the key cards are extremely rare and people sell them for 100 mil on the flea doesn't seem like a right thing because the rooms are not worth it. Like, for example, if you buy red for 100 mil, you will never really make the money back. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and share your comments down below regarding those kind of YouTube videos. If you like them, how can I improve on that? And I will see you in the next one. Take care, ladies and gents.